What's going on Gemmas? It is Vilefire here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get very rare very fast in Animal Jam but before we actually do get on with the video I just wanted to announce a headdress giveaway. This giveaway does end once I reach 32,000 subscribers. The headdress is actually orange but if you'd like to have a chance of winning all you need to do is like the video, subscribe to my channel, Turn on post notifications and also leave your username in the comments down below and make sure to tell me that you subscribed with your comment. And the last rule is you need to subscribe to my friend. Her name is Loves Baiters. Her link will also be in the description down below. Anyways guys, um, once again this, this giveaway does end at 32k. But yeah, anyways let's just get right onto it. So basically you guys clicked on the video because you want to know how to get rare on Animal Jam very fast and I've said like basically like 50 times already but anywho I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get very rare on Animal Jam. I've already made like a bunch of these on my channel already if you want to go check those out like you just go on my channel just search up rare and it will just like pop up like 50 of these kinds of videos but I do do these quite often just to show you guys how you can get rare on Animal Jam and with like new techniques and stuff because like I, this is like an updated version I guess because people seem to like these videos but basically yeah I'm just gonna get right onto it. Okay so here is a very very good tip for you. Make sure to always trade for new promo items. This can help literally so much. If you're like really bad with rares, you don't know like what anything is worth, I recommend trading for new promo items because no new promo items is kind of like easy, like it's kind of like weird because the person who gets them could not know their rares at all. Like if they're brand new, they're just like, I don't know what it's worth. It looks cool and I'll just like trade it. And if you actually happen to get it for like a fox hat or something or something really cheap, you could actually profit so much. And if the promo is super new, you could actually get like an easy headdress. Just like, bam, it's just that easy. If you do, if there is like a new promo and you're actually kind of lucky. I guess this is kind of hard to happen, but this has happened with a few lucky people who got alpha wings. And yeah, you should always like try and get promos that look cool as well because people do tend to offer for those as well. And the next tip I have for you is to trade for items that are leaving stores. And I know I've said this in every single video like I've made of this, but trust me, this does help. And I know I've said that as well, but this actually does help so much. Like being honest right here, this does help you get right. What you have to do is like buy items that are leaving stores, like these beehive stuff. You should like buy all of them and you can end up trading them for some pretty good stuff. Like once, they're, once they've left stores, after like a week or so, people People could end up trading pretty good stuff for them. Maybe you could get like a fox hat or something. And if you get a fox hat, you never know, you could get like a promo. <laughs> wink wonk. Anyway, did I say wink wonk? Okay, that's weird. Okay, and the next one, you should definitely go and enter giveaways. Like this is this is just like an easy way for like lazy people who cannot be bothered to get like be bothered to trade or something like that. Or you just don't know rares too well. You can just enter giveaways and it is like so simple just doing that. Like I have won some pretty good stuff from a giveaway, like once I won like a rare Monday headdress and a rare magenta short collar, which was super lucky of me I guess. But you should just make sure to go enter in some giveaways and I do have giveaways on my channel if you want to go like check those out. Currently I'm hosting the orange headdress giveaway. And yeah, I host like really good giveaways as well, like stuff like founders hat, spikes, beta tiaras and stuff like that. Okay, this next one is actually pretty simple as well. Now, you should watch for the, the like timer of this recording because this is only going to work for like this first week of this being uploaded, but you should go and search for these cakes and you should go and buy them. There's like these new cakes that are around Jamar. So like the one that's in the one that's in Jamar Township is in the corner up here. They're basically like placing cakes everywhere that you can buy. And once these leave stores, they could actually become worth something. You never know. Maybe you can get a few clothing baiters or den baiters off of these. Because, you know, these are going to be ending up leaving stores soon. So I do recommend stacking up on these. They're just like random places. Of, they're just like, you can find them anywhere. You can just like go to a random land and they'll be there. But it depends what land you're going in. But they're not in Serapia Forest, unfortunately. They're everywhere else apart from here. So do not bother looking there. And they're not in the ocean lands either. It's only in the land ones apart from Serapia Forest, of course. And yeah, just make sure to go buy up all those cakes because they will be becoming rare soon, I'm pretty sure. And this last tip I have for you is actually pretty helpful. So basically every year, like, some kind of new adventure comes out. Like, I'm talking about, like, Lucky Clovers or... 
the friendship festival or something and basically lucky clovers is the most like best adventure ever but basically all you need to do is like uh, this is for member only um unfortunately but if you're a member there is like a glitch that you can do where you can like get like five clovers at once which is really cool you can like grab like a bunch of clovers at once you have to be super laggy though i'm not sure if this is patched like right now but if it is, then that kind of sucks, but Lucky Clovers is an easy way to get rare, like, it is. You can get, like, luckily, like, an orange, like, rare long spike color in one of the prizes. If you And it takes, like, literally about half an hour to do. It's not that long at all, and you can end up getting some really, really good prizes. Unfortunately, this is not for non-members. I'm really sorry for you guys if you are a non-member watching this. But you can, like, buy items that are leaving stores and stuff, as I said. And for members, I do recommend playing the Eagle Adventure as well, because that is super helpful. And yeah, that looks like all, that's like all the tips I have for you guys right now. I'm gonna like, keep an eye out for new tips I have for you guys getting rare. And I'm sorry if like every single video I mention like at least two of the same tips. It's just that like these are really, really helpful ways to get rare. And I want more people to actually find out about these like techniques and stuff to actually get rares. Anyways, guys, that looks like it's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smack a like on the video and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.